Well, cool. We're on a bit of an adventure here at the Bush Bee Man. We're going to go and see a Bush Bee Lady. Well, she's not the Bush Bee Lady. She's a, another lady beekeeper over here, not too far from home. And she's got herself a flow hive, so we thought since we haven't got her own, we'll go and check out what she's up to. So come along and see what's happening over here in the big smoke of Brenmark. So you got a locust tree. My nana used yes. to have a locust tree. And you know the locusts are good for bees. Yeah, yeah. They really look. high in pollen. Ah, good to see you again, Kerry. Yeah. Well, thanks. thanks for having us in your backyard. No problem at all. Oh, I tell you what, you're a bit more of a champion than me. You've got a flow hive, so I've, I'm sort of a bit in envious. We're trying to hit them up to see if we can get a to sponsor us a bit, but that's not oh, the reason why right. we're here. Yeah. <laughs> well, <You've got> <laughs> if you get one, like yeah. I love my flow hive. Yeah, yeah. yeah absolutely love it. I've got. 18 um, hives now, all the Langstroth Yeah, hives. yeah. But this is my first hive and still my yeah. favourite. Ah, that's where the addiction started. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's it. <laughs> oh God, you were just mentioning that you actually started off with them in a wine barrel on your back porch. Yeah, so we had a, <laughs> you know, a half wine barrel and they cut them in half and it still yeah. had a bit of the bunghole. Oh, so yes. we had that just sitting on the table, we had, yeah. we'll put our beer on it, yeah, whatever. As you do. <laughs> and actually we were overseas and my mum was house sitting and she said she was sitting on the veranda reading a book and suddenly yeah. heard massive buzz. Um, and I used yes, obviously yes, seeing as, as they turn and up, they're yeah. just like going crazy and she yeah. hightailed it inside. <laughs> yeah. And she said she stood at the window and in the space of an hour, you know, they went in yeah. there and started building comb or whatever. So we get home and they'd already been quite established, you know, two or three weeks yes. they'd already been yes, they building. Do. So we're like, oh God, well, we've got yeah, to do something do? about these bees because we've yeah. got young kids. Yeah, of course. You don't really want so, them on your back porch. No, no. <laughs> Start reading about bees and yeah. yeah, you watch someone on YouTube and you think, oh, I can do this. Yeah. Like, right, I'm going to be a beekeeper now. <laughs> yeah, I know that feeling. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then so, you find out just what's involved. So have you been um, like splitting off from your original swarm have you bought to me yeah or? as i got more addicted i thought yeah. i want more hives so yeah. yeah i just sort of started building people calling me for swarms and yes. so a few, uh. i got a few hives from um, feeding swarms up yeah and i did do a few splits but yeah. um sometimes that's really unsuccessful i like yeah. i like the swarms because yeah. they come ready to build so they just <laughs> Easy kick as. on yeah <laughs> yes. you get your yeah. queen they're, they're just ready to go behind here is these are actually two splits that i did yeah so i keep a couple of like nukes and i just yep. split them to build up but also like you know if you lose a queen yes. it's good to have a backup absolutely yeah. right yeah so yep. this is right, kind cool. of the yep. nursery this is the nursery yeah so these are very young colonies that i split yep. off so they had to make their own queen yeah 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 um so yeah as you know there's risk involved in that if they don't mate properly and make it back yes um, but yeah i've got i did get Two Both of them got clean yep. in there and starting to lay. Yeah, cool. Yeah, and you're um, but it's slow going. It is the yeah. first bit. Yes, yeah. yeah, definitely. And this year's pretty hard too. Like although you've got a lot of irrigated here, but even so, the season's just yeah, yeah, you because know, it's so jolly dry. Yeah, the natural natural environment hasn't really been helping us out. Yeah, I've heard yeah. that um, a lot of the commercial guys, it's they're finding it hard to get honey. Yes. Yeah. 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 No, it's not not looking good. So we're we're on the, we're on the point of moving at the minute so here yeah, oh god that's a whole nother mess of addiction <laughs> i've got um a new another nuke out the back which was a swarm that i collected but yeah. also a hive that i've cut out of uh, um oh uh, yes that's tires the, oh that's a fun so people job. ring me and say i've got this colony and of yeah. course i want to save them all <laughs> i know i'm the same i'm the same Sometimes, do you love it when you turn up when you get that phone call and you go through the conversation in your head and you go after a little while you start thinking this is going to be a bad idea but yeah. i'm going to go and look at it yeah and then you get there and it's like worse than you imagined even yeah i know and you think yeah. this isn't going to happen a massive job. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. and that hive well. over there is the one with that came out of the tires oh okay so um i didn't get the queen and yeah. I, I don't know how you go with it but maybe one in four i get yeah oh, it's move, really yeah. hard it is yeah so they've they've um they had heaps of queen cells and i looked in there recently and they've been I can see a few hatched properly, some have yeah. been taken down, so yeah, I'll give cool. them a week and then I'll see yeah. whether they've been successful in making a new one. Yeah, yeah. But there's heaps of bees in there, it was yeah. massive. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. so they had plenty and you had enough um, eggs and stuff, yes. larvae that they yep. could turn into a queen whilst yep. afterwards. Yeah, yeah. Yep. No, they were really pumping. Yeah, no, 
which is sad because I'm quite happy there. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know, that's the problem. You get there and you think the same thing, but then it's like they're thinking, well, they got to go. Yeah, well, the guy that owned the place is allergic to bees, and they yeah. said they had had let it stay there for like two years. You know, yeah, they should have got rid of them sooner. Yeah, yeah, let's see it when they early love bees on. too, even though they're allergic to them. Yeah, yeah, I think everybody knows how important they are. That's yeah. the thing. Yeah, yeah. couple markets. I don't do markets often, but yeah. Christmas, I thought, oh, yeah, yeah, what the hell. So now I'm like madly doing honey on the kitchen bench. <laughs> This would have been one of the original ones then, I reckon, for the look of it. The original, like the first model. Yeah, model so two, I have model. seen they've yeah. come out with some new ones where they've got the ledge at the back to put your honey on. Yeah, yeah. So in the flow hive, because the viewing panels are plastic, you can actually see yeah. what colour yeah. your honey is really yeah. clearly. Yeah, cool. And yeah, two yeah. frames side by side yeah. can have different coloured honey. One yeah. can be really light yeah. and one can be that medium, you know, mixed yeah. sort yeah. of yeah. But the, the flowers blossom. have changed. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, because of course they work across in a set, you know, from one side to the other, generally speaking. So you've se have you seen, like, these are the viewing bits. Oh, these panels. are the viewy bits. So there's that one there. Oh, okay. Yeah. Not much happening. Well, if, you, if you've had a mass evacuation, that's probably going to be Yeah, I know. Slow. So that was maybe, what do we think, about six weeks ago they oh, okay, started yeah. to Disappeared out of them. So the, you know how the bees, they'll fill... So they put honey in the middle of yep. the frame and then they'll yep, start getting out that yep. way. So that's the, the idea that if you can look in the back here and you can see these final cells mm, are full of honey, okay. yep. you know you're ready to harvest. Oh, ah, right, cool. So because I can't see any honey on the ends, yep. then you yep. can assume that you're not ready to go yet. Yeah, they but they might be quite full in the middle. Yep. They're not really designed to pull out, but you can pull them out and have a look. But the beauty of this is you can see, oh, it's full, yeah, yep, yep. ready to harvest. Yep, once you get to the end, well, let's just pretty much how they operate. Yeah. Is that like a little feeding tray or something? Or what's that bit up the top? So when you actually harvest, you take this out. Ah, oh, okay. Oh, mealing well, uh, little sods. And then you pull these out. Oh, you... oh, they're like the pegs, yeah, yeah. And that's where you stick your key in to turn it. Ah. And so the honey, you pull these out. You, yeah. I need pliers, but. Yeah, yeah. And then you put like a little tube in there and it sort of ah, pulls okay, and out. just flows in. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, cool. And the flow hive people say you can leave it overnight if you want, but I wouldn't do that here because of the ants and yeah, just yeah, exactly. asking for trouble, I reckon. Yeah, I reckon <laughs> you're right. So this is where it starts, you see. This is the this is the start of the addiction. Yeah. <laughs> I actually started the other way around. I'm, I'm sort of working my way towards the fly hive. That's a bit weird, but anyway. <laughs> Once you get into it, you want to see all of the different ways of beekeeping. Oh, very good. So these are the flow frames. Yeah. They're not really designed to be pulled out, but yeah. I do every now and again pull them out. Especially when I can't see anything on the end. Yeah, do I get um, curious as to how the things if are going. they're actually putting anything in there. And, you know, they love putting propolis in here. Oh, of course, yes. And especially if it's been in there for a while. Yeah. They, they just keep making more and more of it. Oops, here we go. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, very cool. Well, they're very that cool one's pretty close. Yep, yep, so they must be working on this way, I think. But look at them. Well, they've got a fair bit of too. Considering if you've lost half of them to that swarm, they've yeah, been they're good. They've built up. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Flow hive comes with a, um, a plastic excluder. Oh, yes. Which I'm not a fan of because yes. they're so hard to get on. Yes. Oh, that looks really cool. They don't look too happy in there. <laughs> I always reckon, you know, the queen excluder thing that we take for granted, I always find it rather fascinating, the blokes that that shit up. I know. You know, what, what, you kind of think, now what were they doing, laying in bed thinking, how are they going to keep the queen in the in the woman bottom box? I read that someone has actually done a study, because you know how when, when you've got yeah. bees foraging, it's at yeah. the end of their life. Yes, yeah. So it's the last right. week or so yeah, of their life. Yeah, pretty much, yep. Yeah. They've somehow worked out that they'll fly around 800 kilometres before they cark it. No. <laughs> well, there you go. Just as well as a lot of them. <laughs> Brood nest is just like any yep. regular hive. So you can choose, you've got options about what type of frames you want to use. Mm -hmm. And you still have to manage it and check it the way you would a regular a regular hive. Yeah, which so maybe I have a sneaky suspicion doesn't always happen. Yeah, and I think that's why they copped a lot of criticism. Yeah. Because it did attract a lot of new beekeepers. 
person. That might not necessarily get into their hive as much as... Yes, well um, it's not a set and forget, is it really? Yeah, I mean, beekeeping's no, not set and forget yeah. with any of it, you still got to do your checks. Yeah, that conference on the weekend, they were talking about the flow hives that are all over the city now. I reckon if we could get them on board to actually check their brood box, then they can help us you know, control the foul brood, or if the mites turn up, God forbid. Yeah. If we could yeah. get them, they would be, we've got a whole lot of police. Well, be police. Yeah, <laughs> the, police. Anybody near the port, yeah. very good idea. Because that's what we don't need, is the mites in coming to get us. I know. Now, this queen isn't marked because generally generally when they swarm, yeah. the, the yeah. virgin queen stays behind. Yeah. So yeah. I haven't actually seen her yet. I'm a bit slack with the whole marking the queens <laughs> thing. I don't actually replace my queens. Yeah, right, I yeah, just yeah. let them live out their lives because yeah, okay. I, I can't bring yeah. myself to kill yeah. a queen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I just like to know that you know if I see one that's unmarked that they've superseded her. Ah, okay. So yeah, I just so you know keep track are. of yeah. yeah. That's a good idea. Maybe and I, I actually haven't had a queen live that long. I'm only in my second year, so well third yeah. seat. I'm coming into yeah. my third season now. Yeah. Do you have one of these shelves? Um, no, but I must get a couple. They're awesome. It's yeah. my favourite thing. Because I used to just put them on the ground and then you've got to yeah, wrangle the dirt before you put yeah. them back in. And, actually, and then the other thing is you've got, I don't know if you've got any, but when you have the different bottoms and then they build the bottom bit underneath. Oh, yeah. I've got this little bit, especially the paradise boxes are a pain for that. And then, then you turn, you've got to sit them out upside down. <laughs> what do you mean? Well, you actually got to put the frame out of the box, but you've got to put the... Like oh, of that, course. Because they've got all this yeah, building. Yeah, of course. And so you can't crash all that. That's so annoying. That's, yeah, it's a bit crazy. Well, they're pretty chilled out, which is good. I actually haven't seen that before. Like Most of the time they, they have honey around the edge. Yeah, generally speaking, but this year they seem to have... So whether they know something that we don't, to about 80-odd now. Yeah, nice. Yeah, so I'm sort of at that impasse where I'm thinking, oh, well, maybe I'll have to forage a bit further oh, than in the she riverland. Is. She's actually got really long abdomens. Right? Yeah, she's looking good. This is the nervous moment when you find the queen. Putting the frame back in is always like, don't do it in rash. <laughs> well, should I mark her now that I've seen Yeah, her? you might as well. Now I want to grab her wing. Yeah, yeah. When you want to mark her, you want her to be flat on that um, little foamy bit. And you just gently as you can <laughs> hold her in place. A fine line of getting her where you can mark her and not squishing her. <laughs> just adding a bit of bling there, love. Yeah. And then I just leave her there for a little second to dry. The workers are getting a bit worried. They're like, what the hell? Where's she going? Amazing how quick they know she's not in the box. Yeah, did you hear the buzz mm -hmm. change? Totally unreal, isn't it? Alright, you can go. She wants to go towards the sun, see? Yeah. <laughs> that was some help. Yeah, that. So yeah, I got this thing recently. Yep. I usually just hold her. Yeah, um, yeah. I, I usually wear, um, you know the nitrile gloves, they're a little bit thinner. Oh yes, yeah. So if I, like if I know my colonies are pretty you know, docile, I'll just wear yep. those. And then you have more dexterity with yes. picking them up. Yes, definitely. Whereas yep. these, like those, those are nightmare. Impossible. Oh, yeah, right. The only like, reason I've ended up with these is because like I said, those ones we were working were just bonkers. Yeah, but I still <laughs> wear those, like if yep. I do cutouts and things where yep. I don't know the bees. Yeah, yeah, you have I'll to put wear, yep. um, you know, stronger protection. But when you know your colonies, you get a bit more comfortable because you know what their temperament's going to be like. Yeah, exactly right. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Sorry, ladies. Now get back to work. Make me some honey. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> the afternoon might be a bit slack when they put things back together. <laughs> so you'll notice the hive is tilted towards the back. Yeah, I did notice that when we got here. Actually, yeah. And so was, usually you'd yeah. have it tilted forward so that yeah. if there's debris or you know it just helps yeah. the bees clean yeah. out there. Yeah. brood box that or can go out the entrance but with the flow hive you want it tilted back because 
when you um, harvest your honey, you want it to flow. Yeah, for sure, yeah. of course. Yeah, exactly right. Otherwise, it's a bit pointless, isn't it, if yes. you don't get it out? Yeah. Thanks very much for having us, Kerry. No worries. Nice to show us around your yard. No, not a problem. No, it's it's been great excellent. having you here yeah. and meeting you. I've been watching you. So. Oh, cool. No, it's been good. really good. Awesome. I reckon quite enjoying ourselves, we are. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Too much mischief for us. Oh, mate, I tell you what.